I feel overwhelmed. I feel hopeless. I don't know where to turn. These words of desperation are said every day by people across America. For many, they mark the start of a crisis that can spiral out of control. The good news is, in most cases, these crises can be avoided with prompt and expert intervention. Help Now Advocacy Center was founded in 2004 in Oregon with the mission of providing individuals and families trapped in crisis urgent advice, support, and negotiation services, all free of charge. Over the past 16 years, Help Now has assisted nearly 8,400 individuals and families through crises, people who were stressed and struggling, desperate, feeling up against a wall. We have taken down those walls nearly 8,400 times and counting. Howard was one of those people. Listen to his story. It was about 1.30 at night. He comes in and shook me and said, Dad, get up. I think the house is on fire. So and I said, you get out and I'm right behind you. They got the fire out and they let me go back in the next morning. And I went in to see if there was anything. It was all just melted. I mean, everything just ruined. Howard called up and he said, my apartment has been destroyed by fire. All of my belongings are gone. Is there anything you can do to help? The first thing, or the first issue was, how do we get him reimbursed for all these items? He lost everything. Well, he checked the fuse box and he looked in it and he said, uh, these fuses aren't, aren't the ones that go in here. We suspected that because the fire report laid blame to the property management company in connection with those fuses, that there, are, that there would likely was some responsibility there. We talked to our attorney partners and they confirmed that. But that still netted him over $8,000. That guy's a miracle worker. That's all I can say. Him and the staff were miracle workers. They made sure that <clears throat> they got a hold of the proper authorities. We had a place to stay in, uh, food, uh, clothing, things like that. In about a week and a half, I had a house. There's really no other organization like Help Now elsewhere in the country that provides the breadth of services that we do. The reason it's critically important is because people go through crises in their lives. Many of them have no support system and don't have, they lack the resources, either financial, intellectual, educational, cultural, language, to be able to cope with the crisis uh, themselves. And we're in a position where we can help them. My worries were lifted. You know, I had people behind me instead of people in front of me pushing me back. It felt like I had them standing right beside me. Help Now helps ordinary, everyday people who, for one reason or another, find themselves overwhelmed by a crisis they didn't want or create. And they lack what seems like any way to get out of that crisis. Those crises are where Help Now steps in repeatedly to find urgently needed housing or food, recover monies lost in scams, obtain critical professional services at no charge or a greatly reduced fee, get addicted or mentally ill loved ones into treatment, settle disputes between neighbors, prolong or stop evictions, obtain needed items such as costly medications at no charge, deal with creditors, negotiate refunds for bad products or services, avoid power shutoffs, and so much more. Now, with the ongoing devastation across the United States caused by COVID-19, the skills and expertise we have developed in crisis assistance over the past 16 years are needed more than ever. For that reason, Help Now is expanding its services to create the first ever national advocacy hotline to address the wide variety of crises that millions of Americans are facing as a result of COVID. But we need your help. 
Your one-time or monthly donation will bring the services of Help Now Advocacy Center across the nation, delivering hope in the middle of this pandemic. And companies are pitching in too. One has already donated the toll-free hotline itself and all phone services connected to it. With your help, we'll reach our goal of $525,000. Your donation will go directly towards building out the hotline infrastructure, hiring key personnel to oversee hotline operation, training volunteer advocates to staff the hotline. And the benefit from your donation will be multiplied many times because all the advocates working on the hotline will be volunteers. And then finally, people like Howard and countless others across the United States will simply be able to pick up the phone and get help now. This can happen. You can help lift the clouds of desperation and darkness surrounding so many lives in America at this moment by making a donation today. As a special thank you, once the National Advocacy Hotline is active, and we're getting closer by the day, every donor who helps can have his or her name listed on our website's Hotline Founders page. Thousands across the country who are in crisis will finally get the help they need now, and you can be a part of making that happen. Please join our effort today.